The internet's favorite superhero is back, and this time, she's got help. Which is strange, because I could have sworn she was the most powerful hero ever. The following is a world-class Bullshitters exclusive. The trailer for the Marvels just dropped, and it looks like it suffers from the Ant-Man 3 problem. It looks bad. Real bad. The first thing I noticed about this film was how cheap it looked. TV shows from five years ago look better than this, but this is what happens when the lady in charge of the special effects is busy stroking her ego over at Amazon. Normally, space in a Marvel movie looks like this, but in this film it's flat and boring to look at, which is great when the next scene looks like something from a 70s Sentai. Those are the Japanese superhero shows Power Rangers are based on. 70s Sentai is great, but they don't have the $200 million budget like this film has. It was pushed from July to November, but I think this needs another decade of polish. One more thing about the effects and I promise I'll stop, but holy shit the cat tentacles looked so bad. This movie looks worse than the first Captain Marvel film from four years ago. Marvel, this is unacceptable. The other thing that stuck out to me was the jokes. All the jokes. Like all bad Marvel movies, the jokes are shoved in there at the expense of the story. The writers for Kamala Khan must have had something in their eye and mistook her for Spider-Man because it sounds like rejected Spider-Man dialogue every time she speaks. Is this an Avengers cast? This seems like a chore to sit through already, and it's been under two minutes. I guess all the humor is to distract from the negativity surrounding Brie Larson. The build-up to the first Captain Marvel movie was very... fun. We covered it all, so click on the link and see more. But it is the stuff of legend. I found it funny that they used the Beastie Boys song Intergalactic in the trailer. The first line of that song is, don't you tell me to smile. Kind of funny, since that's exactly what Brie Larson said to everyone who critiqued the first Captain Marvel trailer. Oh boy, are they petty. For all the hype, praise, and ego of the first film, this is the outcome of that successful movie. Brie Larson's demotion. Why doesn't she get a sequel, or a threequel, all by herself? In the first film, she was a stern, angry person who beat up all the men for looking at her the wrong way. And the character of Captain Marvel was bitchy too. Here she looks out of place trying to do humor. It's just not her strong suit. Groot is less wooden than she is. I'm sure Larson's gonna do and say some more notable things during the build-up to this film, so we'll save that for the future, but folks, you know it's gonna be better than the movie. Monica Rambeau looks like she's the best part of the team. She was solid in WandaVision, and she looks solid here. Enough said. It's hard to get excited for a film about these characters. Nothing from their previous appearances has me wanting to throw down my money. Visually, this film looks like a disappointing shit show that will get a pass online because it's a diverse movie. The real world doesn't care about that shit. After a string of disappointing Marvel films that have looked embarrassingly bad, how can fans expect this to be any different? I'm getting major Ant-Man 3 vibes here, and that movie, even with Paul Rudd, kinda blew. To quote the really bad joke, it's marveling time. Actually, it's quitting time because I'm done talking about this movie, but folks, I want to know what you think about this. We're going to be following the build-up to the Marvels all year long, so folks, make sure you subscribe to World Class Bullshitters, have your bell notification turned on to all, and if you want more access to Brie Larson content and WCBS content, join our membership program. There you can get access to old videos, old streams that had to get taken down to the YouTube algorithm, and a whole lot more. And we talk about this film and pop culture in general. So folks, so folks join us on Tuesdays at 9. Thursdays at 8.30, and every day for content here on the YouTube channel. Oh, I just go back and watch the old videos. I can't believe this is the same shit again. I can't wait to see what they say about this in the press. We are going to have such fun. And more fun than you'll have watching the movie. So, folks, I'll be back next time with more. So, in the meantime, be smart, be safe, be cool. And this includes, if you see Brie Larson in public, always be excellent to each other. <laughs> Actually, run away if you see Brie Larson. She'll probably tell you to drop the taco, and tacos are delicious.